All right. This right here is the Redmi Pad, which might just be the best budget tablet out there. Why do? Shut up. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's a good tablet. I'm praising you. Stop annoying me. Anyway, this is one from GTR, and you're watching my in-depth review of the Redmi Pad. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so let's start off by talking about the design here. So the tablet in itself looks very minimal and sleek. It has a very minimal amount of branding with only the Redmi branding at the back of the tablet. What's more is that the overall feel of the device in hand is quite good. Now to be honest, it does not feel cheap at all. Now I'm not saying it's a premium feeling, but it basically sits somewhere in the between. Also the unibody design here does make it look very stylish. The tablet isn't that thick and the overall weight distribution is pretty good too. Also in terms of protection, the tablet comes with an IP rating of IP52, which basically means it is dust and water resistant. Now the tablet in itself is available in three different colors, gray, silver and green. But personally, I obviously admire the green color variant here, which definitely makes it look far more unique. Also, one more thing that I want to highlight is that while there is no option for LTE connectivity here, the tablet does come with a micro SD card slot in case you want to expand your storage. All right, so next up, let's talk about the display, which obviously is one of the biggest talking points of a tablet. Now, the Redmi Pad comes with a 10.61 inch 2K 10 bit LCD panel here with a refresh rate of 90 Hz. It's a wider 15 is to 9 aspect ratio, so basically, you can multitask easily on this. You also get a brightness of 400 nits with a contrast ratio of 1500 is to 1. Now, the panel itself is Wideband L1 certified and there's also support for HDR consumption inside Netflix on this tablet. In terms of color reproduction, the tablet's display is very good and content consumption on this tablet is a great experience whether it's Netflix, Hotstar or Prime Video. Of course, you can also adjust the color settings from inside the display settings. What's more is that aiding the display department are the quad stereo speakers here, which basically go very well in sync with the tablet's display. Lastly, the high refresh rate basically means that not only games, but even the overall UI feels very smooth to use. And that is very important because most budget tablets usually offer a sluggish experience, but the Redmi Pad definitely feels quite smooth. Next up, we have the cameras and you get an 8MP camera on both the back and the front. Now, tablets aren't really known for great camera qualities and it's not like the Redmi Pad is any different. I mean, the camera here is mediocre as at best, which is fine because you're not buying this for like clicking photos out there, but sure, it's fine. Uh, what's good is that the front camera is, well, does a good job for video calls. So especially if you're a student who, or even a business user who just needs a tablet for attending a lot of video calls, the camera here should suffice for most tasks. All right, so next up, let's talk about the performance here. Now this tablet here is powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 processor, and it comes with LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.2 storage. Now the benchmarks are on your screen and as you can see that the tablet is no slouch. In fact, in everyday performance, the tablet is a breeze to work with. See, 90 Hz obviously makes things look smoother, but you also need a processor that can keep up with it. And the Helio G99 can easily handle everything that you throw at it, especially if you consider the price segment. The menus, sub menus and drop down settings and multitasking menus are very smooth and responsive. You can also browse multiple tabs on Chrome while listening to background music on YouTube. And also on the sidelines, you can even edit some documents and all. Basically, the RAM management on this tablet in itself is also pretty good. Also, if you're a student, I'm sure you would love to read books on your tablet. And honestly, the weight distribution and the ergonomics coupled with the display really makes it a very handy device for reading ebooks. Now, if you're someone who's interested in gaming, titles like Asphalt, Alto, etc. run very well on the device. The performance here is quite consistent and while the device does warm up a little bit during extended gameplay sessions, it's nothing to be concerned about. Now, of course, aiding the performance is the software department here and the tablet comes with MIUI 13 based on Android 12. Now, at the time of reviewing the security patch here is still on August, which is a little bit disappointing, but uh, then again, it is what it is. Now, Redmi has promised three years of security updates along with two version of Android and MIUI updates. So that definitely sounds promising. Apart from that, MIUI in itself is overloaded with features such as split screen mode, floating windows and multi-window feature. Lastly, there's the battery life. Now the tablet comes with an 8000 mAh battery and also ships with a 22.5 watt charger. Now in our testing for charging, it took about three to four hours to completely take it from zero to 100%. 
Now, as far as battery life is concerned, you can easily push this thing for two days, which involves heavy usage, basically watching a lot of movies, videos, or just multitasking, working on Word documents, listening to a lot of music and stuff like that. So yeah, battery life is not at all a concern on this tablet. So the big question, is the Redmi Pad worth it? Well, I would say for about 15,000, this is a no brainer. See, at the time of launch, when the tablet was speculated to be launching, I was looking at the European pricing of it. And if you look at that, this thing should have been priced around 20,000 as a starting price. And in that context, I felt like, yeah, who would buy the Redmi Pad? Just add 5,000 more and get the Xiaomi Pad, which is a far better deal. Credit where it's due, Redmi has priced this thing absolutely well to the point where it offers an amazing value for money. And it's an easy recommendation for just about any user out there. Whether you're a student, whether you're a business user, or just any user who needs a basic tablet. And regardless if it's for like professional needs, or if you just need to use it as an ebook reader, or if you just need it as a large screen device for watching content, the Redmi Pad checks all the boxes. So yeah, go ahead and buy it if you're looking for a good budget tablet. Well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from GTR and I'll see you in the next one.